Yeah, everybody. Today I'm doing the first change um, of the oil on the Land Cruiser since I rebuilt the engine. Um, change the oil filter as well. So I've done about two and a half thousand Ks. Um, and yeah, the engine's pretty well run in now, I'd say. Uh, so now it's time to swap that oil out because um, that'll have caught any dust that was in the engine when I built it any just bits of dirt or anything, all the engine lube grease that I used, any uh, other oil in there, um, put some fresh stuff in, and then that'll be right to go again. So once I've done this oil change and sort the filter over, I'll probably have to service it again, another 5,000 Ks. But before I do that, I will get it dyno tuned um, in a probably uh, 1,500 Ks, I reckon because uh, then the engine will be pretty well loosened up by then and it should be good to uh, yeah, tune it on the dyno. So what I'll do now is I'm going to drop the engine oil, whack a new filter on it, chuck the new engine oil in there and um, yeah, give you a little bit more of an update on what my thoughts are of how it's going at the moment and uh, yeah. So I'll crack on now and I'll drop that oil and uh, we'll get into it. God damn, don't you hate it when you're running out of space in your drain tin before you run out of oil? Of course, there's like half a cup of kid left. Oh. 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 Since I've rebuilt the engine, I've done a longer trip up to Mildura and obviously back. Um, that's about 500, 600 Ks. I've noticed through doing that trip, I've probably gained about an extra 100 kilometers a tank um, on the cruiser. So I think that's pretty good. I'm actually starting to make a little bit of money back off the all that money that I've spent. Um, so obviously it's done its job of the rebuilds worked well. I'm um, actually, saving a bit of fuel now, which is a good thing. Doesn't blow as much smoke as it did when it started up when it's cold. Not that we've had many cold days since then. Um, it starts up, no worries. Runs, you know, smooth as anything. So I reckon it's done, done a good job. Um, she's looking a bit dirty at the moment. She went <coughs> through a few puddles, but anyway. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the rebuild as it stands at the moment. Um, hopefully, be even better once I get it dyno tuned. Um, as I said, you know, do another 1500 Ks or so and get that 
get the engine all nice and loose just so that it'll uh, tune up how it should and won't change over time. Um, yeah, and I've also installed a oil catch can on it. Um, she's just sort of zip tied on there at the moment because I can't work out where I want to mount it properly. Um, yeah, just to catch any oil coming out the breather off the rock cover there into the air intake because it just goes straight into the turbo. And I was noticing before the rebuild, I was getting a lot of oil in the intake. So put one of those on there. Don't know how well it's working yet. I'll check it out when I do a proper service. I'll pull it apart and check the filter in it. Um, but I don't think there's as much oil getting sucked into the intake as what there was before. So that's a good thing. Um, also helped that the engine's being rebuilt too. Won't be as much blow blow, blow by as there was. <clears throat> um, yeah, so pretty happy with it. Uh, I'll continue on now. I'm just gonna rip the oil filter off and chuck a new one on there and I'll fill up the oil. Alrighty, oil change done, new filter on it, all at the level it should be at. So um, yeah, that's me done for today. So thanks for watching everybody. Um, I'll be sure to give you another update with how the cruise is going, um, either when I get it tuned or when I do its next service, which will be a major, I'll do everything on it. 
Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.